All right, ready to roll. Yeah. The crowd tonight. Everybody Wait. went to the movies. Siakam, everybody went to the movies. I'm sure. Why? They opened them up? What? Did they open that up? No. I heard they're opening up the beaches before uh, the weekend. Whatever. They, the just, they, announced week. they, they announced they're keeping Broadway closed till after September. No, no, that's September. But Cuomo announced the beaches are going to be open, 50% occupancy, and everybody has to wear masks because they can't social distance. Yeah, be in for Memorial Day. For Memorial Day. That's in a Only week. What? Only for the... What do you mean? I thought, he kept, I thought he just put on the pause till June 13th. That's maybe businesses. I don't know. All right. What? I don't know. I was waiting, on the board. Waiting for somebody? Can't hear you. No, I'm not waiting. I'm just waiting a few more minutes to get everybody on, but I guess it is what it is. I was on the boardwalk on Friday. I thought it was packed. Yeah, Jews. Not only about Jews. The Don't be mouching on Kalah Yisrael. The Goyim are not being, not keeping anything. No, what I'm saying, saying is the Jews don't have anything to do. They don't have anything to do, but the Goyim out there are, are busy. They're busy? What are they busy with? I, know. I was on the boardwalk uh, and I saw it once ago. The people, it was families, and in between families, there were spaces. I didn't see any Jews doing anything crazy, uh, and most of them were wearing masks. Oh, I didn't yeah. say that. I'm saying I've been on the boardwalk the last few days. I didn't see yeah, anything. Yeah, I, I think everywhere. I walked around today, everybody's wearing masks and stuff. I think it's fine. I'm just saying you're going to see which people want to go out. That's it. I don't for the life of me understand. I spoke to a couple of doctors over Shabbos, and if everybody wears masks, then it's almost zero percent chance of spreading anything. I so think you put up a sign yes, or read the saying that Shabbos. No, I'm just saying. School. So if that's the case, uh, if if that's the case, why are they not opening the economy and just making it illegal to walk around without a without a mask? Because you spoke to the to wrong that. doctors. What? Well, the All the doctors general, say the masks do nothing. Yeah, the Surgeon if, General no, if announced both, if both that masks, wear masks. If both wear masks. If if the other guy, if the guy that has the COVID is not wearing a mask, so then the mask doesn't help. That's what they say. Still, they're saying that the masks are doing nothing. Everybody should stop buying masks. Only if you're working around sick people, they should they should they should wear masks. Depends who you the at. prices of surgical masks dropped. Now have all these Jews that bought surgical masks to sell are trying to get rid of them. Well, you, you, really, you really love Jews, don't you? No, I feel like people raping other people are... <laughs> Alright, I think we can start this year. Am okay, I alone in that? Am I alone? You want to restart the recording? I don't know. Faceness. Okay. Um, what the are we on? I know it's tonight, I know it's tonight right? Yeah. Yeah. So the Chazarim Davayin is why there's different korbanos in different cases. The Gemara wants to know, meaning uh, if you get Shabbos or if you get the, you remember Shabbos, if you get the Lamed Tes Malachas. And then how do we refer to different punishments yeah, for different Malachas? That's Ayin Omer Aleph. All right. <laughs> Um, then if one is shaygig on Shab both Shabbos and the Malachas, we had this whole clear, you have to do the two Karbanas. And one who forgets Shabbos and cuts, oh, that's what we're up to right now. Okay. Um, yeah, it's not the easiest lot in the world today, but uh, not so bad. So Zogti Gemara, do two dots around seven lines up from the bottom. Okay. Um, yeah, so I'm a robot. Kotzer Betochen, it's a very interesting case. Yeah, this is, these are the cases that make you into a London, if you could actually understand them, though. Okay. Kotzer Betochen Kegroigris Beshavas. Let's say you, you cut something and you ground something up the size of a Groigris, which we're going to see later on in the Masech, is the amount, the minimum amount that you have to do in order to be high. 
He didn't know it was Shabbos. It's important to know the, to, to know the difference here. He did two Malachas. He was a Shagig on Shabbos, meaning he didn't know it was Shabbos, but he was a Zadan and Malachas. He did the Malachas B'meiz, he just didn't know it was Shabbos, meaning he was aware that Ketzirah and Tchina are from the Lama Test Malachas. He just didn't know it was Shabbos. Fine. That was the first mistake he made. Then he went and did it again. The Zodan Shabbos, the Shivigas Melochus. This time he forgot that these things were Asr on Shabbos, but he knew that it was Shabbos. Okay, so he did both things, he just alternated. Again, the first thing he did was he forgot it was Shabbos, but he did know that there was, there was, there was two, two Isurim that he did, but he just didn't know it was Shabbos. Then the other way around, he knew it was Shabbos, but he forgot that these two Malachas are Asr. And then he, it was, he found out that he did something wrong. And then he went, and at a different time, he found out that it was, that he did the Shabbos B'meizen and he did the Shoyim HaMalachas. So now, does he have to bring, what are the options here? He definitely has to bring Two carbonus, right? The Shilas does he have to bring four carbonus? So the Gemara answers: Ketzira Gereres Ketzira, Utchina Gereres Tchina, right? So Ketzira, one carbon of the Ketzira drags along the other Ketzira, Utchina Gereres Tchina, and one of the grinding drags along the other Tchina. Avol Noideloi al Ketzira Shal Zadin Shab. Right, so that's the first case. But Noideloi al Ketzira Shal Zadin Shab Shigas Melachas. But if he found out that there was that he was bemazed on Shabbos and the Shoyi on Melachas, then Ketzir Gereres Ketzir. Then in that case, the Kaitzer goes after the Kaitzer. Utchina Sheima, and the Tchina that's with it also goes along with it. But Tchina Shekinegda Bemekaimemel. But the other Tchina again, the other he did two things wrong. He did Kaitzer twice wrong, and he did Toichen twice wrong. Once he did it that he didn't know it was Shabbos. And once he did it, that he didn't know it was Malachas. Okay? Um, right? So we're saying that in the second case, Ketzira will only bring one carbon on the Ketzira, but the Tchina is going to need two carbonas for each one. So by Omar, Tchina Nami that's that is Ula. Right? I'm sorry, that's Rava. Right? Abaya says, Abaya Omar, Tchina Nami why? Because Trina also goes and because Trina, um, shame, um, so I'm sorry, Trina, I'm a rabbi, Trina, Nami, Gereres, Trina, shame, Trina, Achasi. Trina drags along Trina with it and the shame, Trina, because it has the same din, the same Trina, so therefore it also goes along with it. So according to Abayah, you're just going to need two carbonus, one for Kaitza, one for Trina, and that's it. And according to Rava, seemingly you're going to need three one for Kaitza and one for each Teichen. So then the Gemara asks, so me is like the Rava Greira. Does Rava even hold of Greira in the first place that even Kaitz is going to be Gaira Kaitzer? But Itmar, what we learned, Ochav Shnei Zeisei Chayle, Behelam Echa, and we're going to have this case a lot in the next couple of blocks. Somebody eats two Zeisim worth, right? We know that in order to be Chayev on an Isser, you have to eat a Kezayis, right? So he ate two Kezayisim of Chayle, Behelam Echa. Right? Now this is again a Lumdisha case. He ate two kazaisim of chalev and one forgetting, right? So he, uh, he went to a kiddush and he ate something because he didn't know the, he didn't know the isra of chalev. Then he came home and he ate some more chalev, right? Each one a kazais, but one forgetting. Then he found out that the one by the kiddush was chalev, right? Or that it was asr. But then he went, so now again, he ate one Kezayis and then another Kezayis. Then he found out about the first Kezayis. But before he found out about the second Kezayis, he went and ate a third Kezayis. Um, he brings, the, if he brings the carbon on the first one, then the Rishon then then that will cover his first and second eating. Gimel ain't mischaper, but the third one will not be mischaper. Heavy carbon al shlishi. If he brings a carbon on the third chaylev, right? Because he had three kazeis in here. Shlishi v'sheni mischaper, and the third and the second go along. Rishon ain't mischaper. 
the first one though is not, right? Because the second and third were done behelamechad. Hevi carbon alem tzoi, but if he makes brings a carbon on the middle one, then nischapu kulon, and they're all nischaper, right? So therefore, the middle one bridges the first, the first and the third. Avayomar afilu hevi carbon al echad mehen nischapu kulon, and even if he brings the carbon on one of them, then they're always going to be, then there's always going to be a kapara on everything. Right? So what do you see? So you, call, so you see here, clearly Rava does not hold a greater. Right? Here, clearly Rava doesn't hold a greater. So the Gemara answers, Basa, the Shomimei Abaya, Savra, after he heard it from Abaya, he came, he came around to agree with Abaya. Ihochi, the Gemara says, Tchina Nami Tigra. Latchina said, if that's the case, how come Rava holds that the Teichin, the grinding, doesn't go, doesn't follow the grinding? Greater Islay, um, I'm sorry, I read it wrong. Um, I'm sorry, no, I didn't read it right. Why can't the trina drag along the trina and you only have to bring one carbon instead of two according to Rava? Right, because that's what Abaya holds and we're saying Rava held like Abaya. So greater is he says one one dragging along you could do. Greater the greater, less lay. But to drag something, to drag something else, that he doesn't hold, right? So by the Teichen, it's Kaitzer dragging along the Kaitzer, which then will then go drag along the Teichen. That much, Rava says, that's too much. You're going to have to bring two separate Kavanas. Okay. Then Gavara says, Mil- 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 the leil So this, this thing that was Pasha to Abayi Rava, which I find interesting, because it wasn't Pasha to Rava, because Rava first disagreed. Then he came around to agree with Abayi. So only Mil- the Pshita leil Rava and Abayi. Well, the Abayi Rava wasn't Pasha to, it was not Pasha to Rava. Okay, but I guess in the Maskana, it was Pasha to this was a shaila to Rav Zayr. I mean, again, what Abai and Rava held that you can drag one carbon along with the other is was Pasha to Abai and Rava. Rav Zayr had a shaila. The boy Rav Zayr, Rabbi Asi, Bari Labami, Rav Yirmi, and Rav Zayr. So it's either Rav Zayr asking the question or Rav Zayr that was asked the question. Cuts of a tochen chati gregus b'shir Shabbos. Let's say you did you cut and ground up a half a gregus, which is a half a shir b'shir Shabbos b'zod and malachus. You were shayyik on Shabbos, meaning you didn't know it was Shabbos, but you knew that these malachas also, you just didn't know it was Shabbos. The chaz of a chaz of a tach and chatzu gregus bezal and Shabbos, shigus malachas. Same case as the one we had before, except here, each one is a half a shir. So we have to combine them. Ma'u shayit starfu. What's the din? Can you combine them? Amrlei, chalukin lechatois, v'loy mit starfu. They're two different chatois. Uh, they don't combine. So Gemara says, v'chal hecha de chalukin lechatois, v'loy mit starfu. Where they have different chatois, different karbonas, I'm not karbonas, different chet. So do they combine? But nan ocho chelev, chelev, behelam echod. If he ate fats and fats and one forgetting, ain't a chayev ala achas. He's not only chayev one. Ocho chelev, the dam, the noiser, or pigle, those are four separate isurim. Chelev, blood, left o- noiser is what was left over from the karbonas because you only have a day to eat it. Or pigle is what you thought to leave over. If you did all four of those and one forgetting, you're going to be chayv on each and every one. And that, that is the chumrah by more meaning than, than from one min. Meaning if you're over on four different isurim and one helam, you chayv on four different gavadas. So that's a chumrah from that more than min echad, because by min echad, you're only going to be chayv on one. Right? If you do in a helam echad, like we just said, you ate chayv twice, two shiurim of chelev and one forgetting, you're only going to have to bring one. If you do four different isurim and one helem, you're going to have to bring four. That's what we've been saying the whole time about the Lamas and Lachas. And this is the chumrah of one min over other min. If you have a half a zayis and a half a zayis, they will combine. But bishnei min and potter. From two min, it's going to be potter. Meaning, if you ate a quarter of a zayis of fat, a quarter of zayis of blood, quarter of zayas of nicer, quarter of zayas of pigle, they will not combine. But you eat a half of, of chaylev, and then another half of chaylev, then they will combine. So you see that they combine. Do we need to say that if you eat one min, they're going to combine? Whatever you sure he This is talking about where he ate it in two different plates, which is a very interesting shita. That Rabbi, when Rabbi Yeshua holds, he holds that if you have two different plates, let's say you have a chaylev that's uh, spicy and you have chaylev that's uh, bland, right? Created two different um, dishes of chaylev, right? Or one is jalapeno, let's go with modern. Uh, you got a jalapeno and you have chaylev poppers, right? 
So they're both two different minim. So therefore, they are going to be considered separate. Right? Um, now, so Mao, the same Amr Rabbi Shua, Bain Lakula, Bain Lakumra. So you would think that he says it whether it's Lakula, Lakumra, meaning if it's a Kula, you say that they con- they're considered uh, two separate things that don't combine. Or, and he also says it Lakumra, Kamash, the Lakula, Loyomar, Lakumra, Kamar. He only said it Lakula, um, not Lakumra. So then the Mora says, Vahacha, the Chalukan, the Chatois, the Kometzarfi. But here is different Chatois, and we're saying that they do combine. Right, so Amrale, Amrale, Mara, Resha, Masni, Love, Akasha, He was going on the Resha, so therefore you have this Kasha. But Anna, Anna, Seva, Masni, Love, like Kasha. We're going on the Seva, and there's no Kasha. What, what does it mean? Mishnei, meaning Potter, Tzricha, Lemeima. Do you need to say that if you have two different Minim, you're Potter on it? Do you need to say that? Meaning, if I eat a half of a Kazayas of Dam, of blood, and a half of Kazayas of Chalav, do I need to tell you that they don't combine? It's really talking about one min, but my karile shni minin. Why is it called shni minin? Shachlo b'shne tam chuyin, because he ate it in two different plates. Rabbi Shua here is going to Rabbi Shua. Damar tam chuyin mechalkin. It's taught and it's going according to Rabbi Shua, who says that the plate, different plates, makes it different. Val kamash one. Damar Rabbi Shua bein lekula bein lechumra. Then Rabbi Shua says it whether it's a kula or lechumra. So that's the opposite of what we said before. Fine. So then the Gemara says, "Me the seifa min echor the shnei tamchuyin." So if the seifa is talking about one type of food, let's say both chelav, the shnei tamchuyin in two different plates, meaning two different tastes. Mechlal the reisha min echor the tamchuy echor. That must mean that the reisha is talking about one type of food and in one plate, right? Because if the seifa is saying one type of food in two plates, it means the seifa the reisha has got to be talking about one type of food in one one plate. Min echor the tamchuy echor tzrichal meimer. Do I need to tell you that one type? And one tamchoy, uh, do I need to say, is there any chiddush there? Right? Amar Abuna Hakamai Skin, and no country also let you dear bang tayim. So now a new thing that he it's thought, we're saying that he had he knew about the Isser before. But Rabbi Gamliel, and it's going according to Rabbi Gamliel, the Amar ain't your deal of Hatsi Shir. According to Rabbi Gamliel, who we're going to say much later on, and you say, oh, shoot, this is 30 blot from now, 35 blot from now, that he says, is ain't your deal of Hatsi Shir. Right, Rabbi Gamliel Shita is that um, if you know, you find out about something, he disagrees with this, what we've been saying. And he says, Yediyah L'chad Zishir doesn't work, meaning a Yediyah in between things will separate it. Meaning you find that you did an Isser, and then you, you did an Isser, then you find out you did an Isser, and then you did an Isser again. It's not going to combine. But he says, Yediyahs don't work for a Chad So if you're over on a, a Chad Zishir, then they will, they will combine. Okay. That was not an easy piece of Gemara, if anybody knows. What? What does that mean again? That he knew about, in between the Isurim, that he did a half of the Isur, a half of the Isur, right? And he knew about it in between. So he holds that they, normally if you have a Yediyah in between, they don't combine. But Rabbi Gamliel is saying that Yediyah for a Shir does combine. We don't consider Yediyah for a Shir as anything. All right? Okay. Uh, Does that mean that even though there's a idea between them, it's still considered hell of Yeah, that's, that's the I, point. Yeah, that's yeah, the point. That's what he holds. Yeah, yeah. Okay, itmar. So we learned. Yeah, right. Again, a lumdish case. Right. If um, you have shnei zeisei chela behelam echad, so you ate two kizayis of chela and one forgetting. Right. Now this is a different case. So what we say before, anything you do in one forgetting is only one Issa, right? Let's say you ate chayla a whole day, right? You ate it at the Kiddush and Shul, and then you ate it at home, and then you ate it at Shul's. And you then, then Matzah the Shabbos, the guy tells you, by the way, you thought that those were facts, and therefore they're kosher. No, they're chayla, and they're not kosher. And you found out about it. So how many, how many korbanas do you have to bring? Just one, because oh. it was all hella mechad, right? But here what happened is, is you, you had two of them, and one forgetting. But noy rishon, similar to the case we said on Amad Aleph, you found out about the one by the Kiddush, right? Yeah, again, let's keep it simple. You had one on the Kiddush, right? You thought it was Picha. Yeah, the Oilem knows what Picha is. Yes. Okay, so Picha. All right, yeah, I'm not a Picha guy either, but I'm just saying, you got this Picha, right? So it looks to you like it's facts, and it's kosher, right? Then you eat it by the Kiddush, and then it was so good, you took some home, and you, you had some more of it, okay? Then, no, I'm sorry, that's not a good case. You came home and you, and, and you had more at home, right? Two different chaylas, yeah? So then, but it was hella mechad. 
Yeah, you have no idea that, that those are facts and that, are, that they're no good. Then you find out that the one by the Kiddush was Trey. Right? And then you find out later that the one, your Yediyas were two separate Yediyas. Okay, so again, Itmar, Ocho Shnei Zezei Chela Behelam Echad. Two Kizayisim of Chela and one Fagani. Benoid Eloi Ala Rishon. Then you found out about the one at the Kiddush. Because of Benoid Eloi Ala Shani. And then you went and found out um, on the second one. Now we're going to have a Machlaikas later exactly what this case is. Meaning, did you already separate the carbon for this or you just found out about it? Right, because that's going to make up an important difference. Rabbi Yochan and Amr Chayev Shtayim. Rabbi Yochan says you Chayev too, because you found out about each one at a separate time, which is interesting, Shita, because it Lachar, if you did it all in one forgetting, that's what it should be like, not, not finding out. Rabbi Yochan and Amr Chayev Ela Achas. Rabbi Yochan says you only Chayev one. How do they know? Rabbi Yochan and Amr Chayev, because it says Al Chatos Behavi. It says on your Chatos and Hevi, right? Meaning on each and every al chatosay behavi. When you find out on each every chatos, then you have to bring it. Rish Lakish Amr Potter, he says, Potter, me chatosay benislach loy. Right? Um, even if you bring his, if he brings his own chatos, then it's going to be a kapara. So the Rish Lakish Haksiv al chatosay behavi. Rish Lakish, what does he do with Rabbi Yochanan? Hulachar kapara. That's only talking about once you brought a kapara, then for sure. Meaning once you bring, well, it's not for sure because he's more going to ask about it. But he's saying it's after kapara. Meaning, after he did a kapara for the first chela from the chela by the Kiddush, then he found out that his chela at home was also a problem. His shuman at home was also a problem. Rabbi Yochanan, Yoksim Mechat Asoy V'Nislachloi, right, from his chayat and V'Nislachloi, Hochem Ayaskini, Gwen Sheochel Gazayis U Mechza, here, this is the, 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 an, another interesting case. He ate one and a half kezayisim by the Kiddush. V'noi Deloi Al Kezayis, but he only heard about the kezayis, not the other half. Right, he had two different pachas at the Kiddush. He had a kezayis of one, half a kezayis of the other one. Right, then he finds out that the kezayis one that he ate... Jacob, was, you, have a location, you have a location on this Kiddush? I, I would go to this Kiddush. Yeah, you're right. That's why, because it was done in Corona when the rabbi said, no Kiddush. So, Avera, Gerera, Savera, like we learned it on a lot. So, then it comes out that it was Chalev. Maybe it's talking not legit Chalev. It's only Chalev, because the rabbanon said it's trafe to make a Kiddush. Okay, whatever. There you go. We brought it into Nyana de Yaima. Thank you. Yes. So, uh, right. So then he found out that the first Kezayis was Chalev, and the second, and that's it. He didn't know anything about the other half. Because of then he got home and he ate a Chatzizayis. Again, he ate a Kezayis and a half by the Kiddush. Okay. Clearly, whoever wrote this Gemara was not drunk. Okay. This, you can't, this is, this is heavy duty um, lumbus over here. Again, he ate a Kezayis and a half of Chalev by the Kiddush. Then, he found out. Um, he found out on the way home from the kiddush that the first kizayis he ate was chelav. Then he goes home and he eats another half kizayis. Right? Because because right? again he didn't know the second, the first, the kizay, the half kizayis that the kiddush he didn't know yet was no good. Right? Mao the same with starfu. You would think that they should combine kamash and that they don't combine. Okay. Fine. So now, Omar le Ravino le Ravashi, this Yadu le Kardim Afrasha Pligi, what is exactly this Machlokas in Rabbi Yochanan Reish Lakish? That he knew about it before he separated, and that's what a Machlokas is, Uba Ha Pligi, the Marsa of Yediyas Machalkas, one holds that just knowing about it will make, knowing about it at different times will make it that you have to bring two different Karbonos, so Marsa of Afrasha Machalkas, and the other one says, no, it's all Tali, and did you separate the animal yet? Meaning only if you, Found out you heard the you, you had the the kizayis by the kiddush and you heard about it. You said, okay, I'm bringing uh, Betsy the cow as my carbon. Then you find out again that your second one was was also. And then you say, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna bring Betsy number two, right? That's that only the hafrasha separate. But after hafrasha. That's only if they find it after Afrosha, Vahapligi. And this is the Machlok. The Marsa for Afrosha is Machalkos. The separations are 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 Machalik. The Marsa for Kapara is Machalkos. No, it's only if you bring the carbon. But before you separate, Maidali Rabbi Yochan and Rishlokish, Rabbi Yochan is going to be Maidali to Rishlokish that you only have to bring one. That's one side. What are you saying? How is it possible? How is it possible that the Yediyah comes after the Hafrasha? No. Who says what is the Yediyah? 
That's what it says. This Yadale Lachar approach. Oh, what do I mean? Yeah, the, he found it about the second Kazayas after he already was the Mafish. second Kazayas. The second, yeah, the second Kazayas. Again, he found out. He found he ate two Kazayas, one at the Kiddush, one at home. Then he finds out about it, and he separates an animal. Then he finds out about his second one. Right, right, right. That's right. right. So that's one side. Idilma bein bezu bein bezu machlokes, or it doesn't make a difference which way it is. They both disagree whether one carbon will suffice for both. So amrali mustavra bein bezu bein bezu machlokes. The the svara is that both of them have a machlokes. These are meaning they're arguing in all cases. These are the the kaidim afrosha pligi. Because if you say that they're arguing before afrosha, but after afrosha, maidi le reshal kesh rabbi yochanan to chayiv shtayim. But after afrosha. Reshalkash is Maida, that you have to be Mechaev too, because you were Mafresh a carbon before you even found out about the second thing that you did wrong. Adamokim like Krala Acher Kapara. Then, if you're saying that the Pasik's talking about after Kapara, look me Lacher Afrasha. Why don't you just say that the Pasik's talking about after Afrasha? Why? And that's a bigger Kiddush. Why don't you just say that? Again, we were saying that he's learning that the Pasik that says you have to bring two Chatos is after you already separated, after you already brought the carbon. Why not just say the bigger chiddush that is after you separated the carbon? If you say that the whole machloekis is is by afrosha, but before afrosha, Rav Yechonan's ma'ida to Rosh Hashanah, the only day in the chayav alachas, the only chayav one. At the mokila krab kezayis umechza, why are you coming up with this strange case of kezayis umechza, and then you found out about it the other half? Like my kaidim afrosha, why don't you just say it's before you afrosha, right? So that's why we're saying that the machlokes is in all cases. So then Gemara says, "But Dilma spooky masafkele." No, but maybe he was just masubik about it. Imtim tzalaim akomer. What he meant is, if you say imtim tzalaim akomer, the mafrasha pligi bar Rabbi Yochanan. If you're going to say that before afrasha, Rabbi Yochanan um, disagrees. Hey, he mukula lekra because I have to Maybe you'll have to say the pasuk because I have to mechza. Imtim tzalaim laachar afrasha pligi to Rabbi Yochanan. And if you say that the Rabbi Yochanan is arguing after afrasha, hey, he mukula lekra. Where, how are you going to say the pasuk? Meaning, maybe this whole thing is one big topic, and it's we have to learn it as an intim tzalaima. And the Gemara leaves it um, as uh, we don't say exactly which way is the machlaikis, but it seems like they're, they're arguing all the way around. Okay, it's a short block because it's complicated, but uh, I guess for much of Shabbos, it's a good, it was a good time to do this block. Tomorrow is also short block simply because it's also in these types of things, but I think tomorrow's block is not as difficult as today's. All right. I can't, I don't know anything practical to bring up in today's uh, daf. But uh, okay. The island should have a good vach and a good yar. And uh, don't lose the faith in this. It's, it's getting easier after today. Maybe tomorrow's shtick will come after that. It, uh, it eases up. Um, All right. For those, who need, for those who need the next uh, segment of the art scroll, um, I think we should be moving on to the next one this week, no? Oh, uh, uh, yeah. yeah. Today was Ayan Olive. And it was at, uh, Ayan Vav is the last stuff. Well, for those uh, that don't want to buy Art Scroll, um, Art Scroll on the app is giving one free volume out to anybody. Any, to any, any if you just want to just get it on the app, they're giving out one free volume. And they're giving access to the whole library for a month for free. So everyone take your screenshots now. <laughs> Right. Yeah, uh, it'll take yeah. you about a month to get all of them, or, or print at work. Oh, I didn't go that deep. Or do none of those because it's probably not allowed, right? <laughs> I don't know if you get a if you get your masechta, you buy a masechta online. No, oh, no, I'm saying if it's limited free access, right? They're giving you free access to their site, not that you can download it, right? So well, if I you don't. Take Shots no, they're everything. giving you, what's it, when you buy a Masechta on Art Scroll, okay, we got it, now we have practical in the daf. very good. Okay. Yes, let's do this, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Say, thank you, right, so if you buy a Masechta on, on the app, you're not yeah. allowed to print? I don't of know course. what the rules are. Of course, because you bought it. Okay, so this is the equivalent of the buying, they're just giving no, it to They're giving you free access just for a limited amount of time. They don't no, they're giving you a free Masechta. You download the Masechta. No, no, stay on I'm talking about, you're talking about, I'm, they, they were talking about the free access that you said. That's what oh. they were saying. They were talking about the free access. Not the one that they let you download. The free access one, right? You said it's free they access. Do let you, they, no, they let you download it. Right. They're two different things. 
<laughs> okay. I'm not talking about the free enough. access or the free. I mean, there's two different things. They're giving you one free masech to the download. Yes, I'm not talking about that. Oh, you're talking, talking about the access to the whole library. Right. So I'm saying yeah, that every screenshot. So I said it's probably not allowed. No, it's because for sure not. I can't. You imagine. access doesn't mean they want you to download it. Am I incorrect? Um, I hear. I don't know. I don't know. I'm Even not if sure. it's I hear your point. Acceptable. I'm sure it's not hashkafically. Well, no, I'm sure no, I'm saying even if someone could find a halakhic way to do it, hashkafically, it's not so cool. How could it be halakhically correct? They're giving you access for a limited amount of time to access their library. They're not telling you you could go screenshot everything and keep it for yourself. I bought it all last night when I did it. And let's say you pay. Sure. Let's say you pay for that monthly access. Then what? Right. I don't, I don't know. This is why I'm not no, a rabbi. I don't think you pay. I mean, no, it's not monthly. I don't think they charge monthly. They, they You can pay for the whole download. It's like 700 bucks. No, okay. something like that? Exactly it. So I'm they, not so sure they let you print. I don't I wouldn't. I don't know. I would check the fine print with Art Scroll. It's um, Art Scroll. They're not letting you print anything. I, I, probably. Probably. But I don't know. And it's a moot point. All right. Yeah. Yeah. It's a moot, a moot point. It's a cow's opinion. No one cares. Oh, well done, Jeff. Well done. Oh, one second. I wanted to say a Misa. I wanted the other to say a Naftali Liner told me a Misa. Naftali, he's on there still? He's there. He's there. Yeah, I'm, I here. I'm say, here. I could say it over who did it or I shouldn't. Yeah, sure. Why not? You know what I'm saying? We're all talking about trying to get at people. I'm tell I don't know why this Misa really, really, I think this is a Givaldi the Misa. So, now Naftali, and it spread this Misa to whoever it is. Okay, Naftali, it's Kedai to hold off the complicated to hear this Misa, I believe. But you'll let me know. So Naftali Liner's Schwer is the chaplain of the Chicago Police Department. That means he has a lot of pull with the police department because he's the chaplain. Okay, so, and I don't know what the rules are in Chicago with the Mignonim, but it seems like they're allowing Mignonim up to 10. And there's one mini that had 17. So, I don't know, somebody called. Somebody called his Schwer to ask if he should call the police department on these guys because they're breaking the law. Huh? It's a good question to ask the chaplain of the police department. You know what he answered? He said, why don't you tell the, the 17 people to get three more and split up and then they're doing nothing wrong and, don't, and leave the police out of it. All right? Now that is the way an Erlich Hayyid deals with a crisis without trying to, do you know what I mean? To try to make a whole zach. No? I don't know. I I enjoyed that mice. So we should all learn from it. What should I tell you? We should all learn. Yeah, Shikayef. Yes. Shikayef. Yes. Anyway, so I got to go. A good talk. All right. All right. Thank you. Good luck, everyone. Stay healthy. Oh, the, uh, the video is now night. uploaded onto YouTube. I don't know why right. it didn't download over Shabbos. It finally said it downloaded. So my apologies. Right, cool. Have a good night. Nice.